welcome to a long overdue sorting photo cards video. I have a lot of photo cards right here. There are 155 cards. Yes, I counted. <laughs> this is the largest stack of photo cards I have had at one time to date so far. And yes, my my photo card box is very full and it is time to put these bad boys away. So let's get into it. All right, first up, I want to start with my A5 binder. So I'm going to move my other two binders to the side. Let's get this bad boy open. So this is my Purple Kiss A5 binder. And I also moved my weekly cards in here, which is new. I believe the last time I featured my A5 binders, weekly was still in my A4 binder, but I have since moved weekly in here and I moved my red velvet cards into my other miscellaneous A5 binder. So let's start with Purple Kiss because I have them at the front. So I have the Mem 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 I honestly <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I have those cards from their newest comeback. Um, but then I also have some pobs. So what I'm gonna do as a transition page of sorts from hide and seek into mem mem that one. I'm kind of doing a pob transition page. So I ordered um, their newest albums from Mixer, so I got some pops, and then I just went back and I bought these two pops from their Hide and Seek era, uh, mainly just because I really love this Stosi photo card. I think this was um, Mixer version 3. I think this is Mixer, Mixer version 3. Um, so yeah, I got these two. So this is my transition page now. Yay. And now we move into the Mem, Mem era. Seriously, how do you say it? <laughs> oh, I'm missing this photo card. So this is the only photo card I don't have yet. It's Yuki's meme version card with the purple back. It like, I can't find a trade for it. <laughs> I don't, I no one I have. Um, an Ire card and a June card and dude, I can't find a trade for it. So if, if you have um, this Yuki card, I'll put it up on the screen. If you have this card and you want to trade, um, go to my Instagram, just like pick any photo card I have on my page and please trade me. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this was the meme version, dude. Okay. And then this is the M version. So yeah, I just decided to put the purple backs on the top and the black backs on the bottom. And then I already put their postcards in here. So this is Josie and Yuki, and then this is their postcard that it, like if you, it's heat activated, so it changes colors with the heat, which is really cool. So yeah, so now on to my Monday collection. Um, so yeah, with this collection moving forward, I'm going to do things slightly differently. Now that she is in a four pocket, um, I will be very strict with myself and I will only buy four cards per era, starting with their next era, because this era, um, the Venpar era, 
Um, I, <laughs> I got all the photo cards. Um, and they did 12, I think, for all the different versions, which was kind of annoying. They did a lot of cards this era for all the different uh, album albums. Um, so, yeah, I, well, one, I got this Make Star um, Pob from their first album just to help fill out that page. Um, and then just like they fit so nicely in four pockets. But then, of course, for the newest year, they have to do freaking 12 cards, which is annoying. Um, also, I got another pob for this page. Oh, and this, so I got this one because she looks fucking adorable, but I'm going to put it here. And this will be like my, you know, cover page for my Monday section. I'm just going to put that to the side for now. All right, so in my head, I had an idea of how I wanted to lay these out. Yeah, I think, you know, this one, because I think this was a limited one, because it's the only one with a different back. So I'm going to put these here. same back so it could be why I put it there or no how did I do this because I want these four on the same page and I think then I had these together because these are kind of outliers and I think this yeah this one has a QR code um all right this is gonna go on the last page I want also, these two cards being so freaking similar. <gasps> Listen, I have a lot of thoughts on the cards this era. I just, I, I truly do love Monday's cards. I think they're so cute. But this is a reason why moving forward, I am limiting myself to just getting four cards because they're so, so, like I should have done it this era. Honestly, I, I should have just gone four of my favorite cards this era but I didn't. Um, but you know, moving forward, I'm only getting four because it's kind of ridiculous that like these cards are almost identical. And I know I say before, like I know in my APs collection, they have a lot of identical, like similar poses and things like that. But I don't know, it just feels, it feels different with ATs. And this kind of like, I don't know like if you can't also okay <laughs> before I just start rambling let me organize my thoughts so ATs for basically all of the fever series they were doing two regular album cards and one limited per album version I think fever part one was the only they had less cards for that era but like fever two three and epilogue it was two regular album cards and one limited per version. And so like we knew what to expect. For weekly, before this, they had four cards and that was it. I mean, their first album, they had three cards, but then after that they were doing four cards per album or like per, per era, like they had two versions and it was just two cards per version. And then all of a sudden with, with Venpara with um, Play Game Awake, they have 12 cards. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a lot. It's a lot. And they're not even like, I, I love, I'm going to do this. I love Monday's cards. I said this before, but like weekly is not a group that I spend a lot of my time and energy on. So I don't want to go overboard with their cards. 
when I don't need to. So yeah. Anyway, those are my thoughts. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, and I'm just gonna cover up this QR code. And then, did I not, I feel like I got, maybe I didn't, maybe I decided not to. I thought I got her postcards as well, but I guess I didn't. Anyway, so let me go from the front and just do a quick flip through. So new era begins here. Still missing this card. Help a girl out if you have it. That's it for this binder. I'm gonna put this card on the front later. Next up, I am going to put my Dreamcatcher cards away. So since the last time I filmed a photo card sorting video, I have decided that for Dreamcatcher, I am going to collect OT7, which is very exciting for me honestly because I don't collect any full groups for any of the other groups I stan and honestly I just really love Dreamcatcher cards and I love those girls so freaking much and I don't know I was just like I'm gonna collect full freaking group why not um so yeah that's what I'm doing <laughs> That's what I decided. So I have quite a lot of Dreamcatcher cards to put away, but I am very excited about it. So first up, we have some cards from their Road to Utopia album. So for this era, um, I just decided to get one full set um, and I just want to get their pink set because I just love these cards so much. I think they look so freaking hot. Um, and I know some people don't like concept cards. I am not one of those people. I really like concept cards because they just look really cohesive. Um, and I, I especially like Dreamcatcher's concept cards and they tend to do like concept and selfie cards per album. You also, you, you get so many cards per album as well. So I feel like it's really easy to do a full set of, of cards for them because they just give you so many. Honestly, Handong is the reason I wanted this set because this card, she looks so good. She looks so freaking good. But I, yeah, I didn't want to like retroactively go back too far because since their earlier albums um go out of print like they go out and stay out of print um I didn't want to spend like tons of money so I just decided to do one set from Road to Utopia and then I was filling in my cards from um their um oh my god what was the album called Summer Holiday right was it summer holiday? It was summer holiday, right? That's what it was called. <laughs> I can't remember now. Brain fart. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going back and filling in what I was missing from these cards. So I don't know if there's a particular order to these, but I was just doing it in an order that made sense to me. I can't tell if the mark is on the card. Okay, it's in the card. It is part of the card. Oh, this is not straight. Okay. Okay. 
like yeah this set this this concept set i fucking love it they look so good so yeah i don't have a problem with concept photos i like it Also, I decided to collect OT7 Dreamcatcher because honestly, cards that are still in print, they're very cheap. I got all of these for two or three dollars per card. So I was like, oh, these are, these are hella cheap when they're in print. So, you know, the, the still in print ones, the out of print ones, the out of print albums, like those cards obviously go for more. But that's why I also didn't really have a problem collecting OT7 because I was like, why the hell not? I love these girls so freaking much and their cards are cheap. So. what am I doing trying to put it in from the other side oh wait is this the wrong this is the wrong set hold up hold up I think what color was this back it was the purple back I think it's this one. Oh yeah okay it's this one just kidding I was putting the wrong set in whoopsies Okay, here we go. This set goes here. There we go. Oh yeah, and this set, I didn't have any of these cards from this set. But I got them. go doing this also made my this binder a hell of a lot thicker so I I was thinking I was like if this binder gets too full I may move this into I may move my dream catcher collection that is into um, their own binder if this one becomes too full also I got the octopus Yuhon card and I'm very excited about it. I totally, you hon, you, you, you hon. I don't know how to, like, so yeah, whenever I like read Korean names, in my head I say it one way. I'm like, is that how you actually say it? You, you hon. Anyway, excuse me. I swear I'm an insomnia. <laughs> okay, so now we're moving into some pobs. So, these pops um, were from Summer Holiday. These are just random and I'm like, I didn't bother trading or trying to get like specific numbers um, besides Dami, obviously, because she is my bias. So I have Dami. And then um, I these three are from Apocalypse Save Us. So I'm just doing a um, six page layout with these. Actually, no, I'm going to put Jiu here so she's opposite herself. And I'll put Sua here. And then Dami in the corner. I figured that looks nice and also it's another transition page into Apocalypse Save Us. So I um, don't have all of them for Apocalypse Save Us yet. I'm going to wait a little bit um, before getting some of those because right now since the it, their album is so fresh, um, prices are a little high right now. I can't remember, this is the, okay, this is concept 
this is our self this is the selfie cards right um i do have a lot of their selfie cards though why did i put she on first so uh, hold on i need to figure this out she on handbong is this all blue okay handbong home okay this is the next set so i think these ones go here so this is the sua blue selfie xion like xion i i think that's how you say honestly i don't i'm really bad okay guys i, don't, I always second guess myself whenever i say their names out loud I always think I'm pronouncing it wrong, which I probably am. Okay, and then Gahim. Okay, and now this is the selfie red. Did I call this red? It's kind of like brown. Probably what I meant though. Red. Yeah, and then we go into the concept cards. So, yeah. I love this card so much. Handbong. Yuhong. Yeah. I did buy some sets on Mercari, Japan. Um, so those will come to me in like a month or so. Um, but I think, which one was this? Okay, this was the concept blue. So this is Xi'an. So this goes here. Okay, so I did their concept cards first. And the selfies. And then, this was the green back? Yeah, green back. Okay. We got there in the end, we got there. Okay. So that's it for album cards. And then I have their concert MD. So I really wanted the concert MD cards. These are so cute. Ugh, I just love full member Dreamcatcher sets. They're so good. There we go. Cute. Okay. So, <clears throat> from the beginning, we got Road to Utopia pink set. I'm just calling it pink set because they're all in pink besides Handong. I mean, she, there's a slight slight hint of the pink jacket here, but at least she's in the center. She looks so freaking hot, so it's okay. Then we have Summer Holiday. And some pobs. And then we're getting into Apocalypse Save Us. So yeah, these are all from my album pulls. So like I almost have a full set of the selfies and then I just need to work on the concepts. And then we go into the concert MD. Yay. Okay. And now let's flip to my one section. So my Trickster albums are not here yet. I have set up for that, but they're not here yet. However, I have some cards for this page. So I wanted to get cards to fill this page out because it was looking a little empty. So I got some of these cards from their Us Room pop-up that I believe took place in 2020, which was before the fan live. So I'm gonna move the fan live down here. And then the pop-up cards will go above it. And so the way I set it up, I 
want the member cards in the middle and then we're gonna do pajama set here and then like so that's how I want to do it oh, let me get these are in the way Yay, I'm so excited. This page is now full and it feels so good. Yay. Okay, perfect. And that's it. And then my Trickster albums should be coming next week. And so hopefully I can start trading and putting those away. All right, so now let's move on to... Oh, and this, this big PC, um, it's the theater version. I still have yet to find a trade for that as well, so if you have it, <laughs> please trade with me. Um, Alright, let's move on to my TXT section. So my TXT section has also drastically changed since the last time I filmed. Um, I caved in and I bought an A Pocket page. I was very against A Pocket pages, but I, I was just was not happy with the layout of this before and I <laughs> what I always do I went into Photoshop and I started trying different layouts for pages and this is what I came to that I liked so I bought an eight pocket page so the way I have it set it up now is I have their dream chapter star then it's dream chapter um was it yeah magic and then dream chapter eternity and then we go into blue hour no these are just blue hour so three up top for blue hour and then this is my um freeze section and so i traded for a pob so that i this page would be filled out better so this is a, the weaver's pob and it matches this outfit so that's why i did that and then we go into my other um, Star Seeker cards that I got of the other members. So this is like a transition page into then Fight or Escape. And then um, this is the beginning of um, their current era, Miniso to Thirst's Child. So I like this setup more because it's like three here and then the rest of the page is one era. And then it's like three at the bottom and then this is all one era and so i was thinking like maybe just take this out and put it somewhere else so that it you know the center is empty but i haven't decided exactly on that yet but anyway so this is the new layout for txt um and then once again i am collecting a full set as well so for their tier version i collected a full set so let me do that. I have trades lined up for all my other cards, but they're not to me yet. Actually, besides um, the end Lenti, I have Subin's end Lenti, and I, for the life of me, cannot find Yunjun's. I'm convinced that it does not exist. Um, so yeah, if you have, if you want Subin's and Plenty and you have Yeonjun's, let me know. I will trade you. I also need to find Yeonjun's end postcard as well. I have Bumbu's. So those are the only two I'm still, I, I still don't have trades lined up for. Alright, and then, so, do hate at the top. So I am setting up this page. So I have Yeonjun's all on the left and then the other members tier cards set up on the right. And then this is the mess version. And we have the tier version. They're very snug. Oh my god, are these too big? 
Tell me these are not too big. What the hell? These are supposed to fit in here and I have a cat hair in here. <laughs> Oh, there we go. They fit. They fit. That was mild panic. <laughs> mild panic. Okay. So let me just take these all out. These are so snug. I don't like the way that this is like curved. Maybe it's just the air it needs to come out. Because this one fits bet. Maybe it's just the air. Maybe it's just being at the top. I don't know. I also don't like that this is taller than this one, but what are you going to do? Can't change it. I wish they had done the same freaking size, but they didn't. Why are these, why am I having such trouble but getting these in? What the hell? I also wish that these were all sideways, but Tehan's is not. No, 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 this way is better. And then here is high. all right and then I need to put in another page because I got some non-album merch because I am weak oh there is so much cat hair <laughs> so much cat hair all right let's ignore all this cat hair all right, so I got their MOA buy together cards. And so I don't have, I'm missing one. I think I'm missing one. But the way that I'm going to set it up, these should, these fit, right? <laughs> they look so big. Anyway, so I think I'm going to do this concept on the left. And then this one on the right, I think that's how I'm going to do it. And then just double back some as well. Freaking cat hair. Like I know these fit, they just look so big. these in order beforehand I'm pretty sure like these are numbered um yeah I did actually do I want to flip these around normally when they're sideways I have them like facing in mm, I don't care oh wait but they should wait 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 let me match it oh no I have these opposite each other maybe I'll do that I'll just turn this side around so they're like this. Also, I don't have sleeves for these. I know I can buy sleeves, but I just too lazy. I don't want to spend money. <laughs> okay, let me do it like that. So then on the back, I'm going to put... Um, this is the special like selfie card one. And then I'm gonna do um, maybe like this. Do I like that or okay, what is the what is the order? Three, two, three. Okay, yeah. So this is two, three, yeah. Alright. So so if I want it like this. 
Do you like how I did that? Uh, I like, love the back of this. It's so pretty. So yeah, I think I'm missing number seven or six. Like there was one I was missing. Um, but I didn't want an odd number. And this came in one set that I got off of Mercari Japan. So I was like, whatever. Whatever, whatever. Go in. Hello? Yeah, like that. Perfect. Okay. So, yeah, that's it for this. I need this freaking Lenti. Okay, y'all, please, if you if you have Yunjun's and Lenti and you want Supins, hit me up, okay? All right, next up is my big old ET's binder. Oh, oh, this is very full. See, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to move Dreamcatcher out of here. Okay, so. Um, oh yeah, I added two stickers. Um, this was from the, uh, it was from the fan kit. I think so. Yeah. Um, I added these to my cover. I also put my VIP, um, wristband in here as well. Anywho, so I got, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yes, this is the most exciting. I got these two, uh, season's greeting cards. I feel like also since the last time I filmed anything with my binder, I, I swapped out all my black pages for BCW. Like the black pages I use in my other binder are like a non-brand one, like an off-brand version. Um, so yeah, I switched out all the black pages to BCW and I also switched out all the um, sleeves to BCW. So everything is BCW. <laughs> anyway, so... What I like to do in my binders is always have like a, a entry page, or at least this is what I like to do for my 80s binder. So this is going to be my my uh, introduction page. Um, and so I put their season screenings here because I fucking love them. And then I will probably like if I have like one off sets that I like that I can get like all three of them I'll probably put them here as well but for now um it's just the season's greetings but it's very exciting because I love these cards so much and ideally I would like to get OT8 of the season's greetings but it's not gonna happen um I also printed out um some photos from like this era from the anniversary just to fill out these two spots because the four is just fillers so I pr printed out um these two like behind the scenes photos and then I also printed out two from um treasure epilogue here to help fill this out so let me go to I'll just go to here so I kind of set this up already um because I knew what I was buying. <laughs> so I got the Ooyoung and Hongjun Lenti. Lenti, Lenti, what? <laughs> Unit, not Lenti. Um, okay, so I'm still on the hunt for the Ooyoung and Yosang unit. It's just a little expensive right now. So yeah, I completely rearranged this whole section. So this was my MISC POBS and Japanese PC section. I've completely rearranged this now since I posted my um, ET's binder reorganization video a couple months ago. It's The section is completely different now. Um, I basically took out all the pobs that I had in my first section and I put them here so basically my this this section the album um photo card section it is my bias line and so if I don't have a full set of my bias line from the Korean albums I'm putting them in my misc pobs section which is here and then I also have like full bias line Japanese photo cards here as well so <laughs> that's what that is that, that is what the change was 
so I have a few Japanese cards. So let me do, okay, so this was their Tower Record. I don't know why I put Tower Records over here, but I did. Um, so this is Tower Records. And also this section, I just go chronologically. So that's why um, they're like Japanese are mixed in between the Korean, because I'm just going chronologically. So this was from Dreamers. Honestly, I love this photo card so freaking much. Boo Young's jaw. Hello. And then this was their A tinny version, which I didn't have before, but I wanted it, so I got it. I like these BCW black pages a lot. Like they're very they're a bit sturdier than the other ones I have. They're just very, um, they're, it's hard to get the photo card in. It's very stiff. It takes a little, uh, wiggling to get the photo card in. Okay. Um, and then this is, so Dreamers came out before Season Songs. So this is my Season Songs section, and then we're getting into Fever Part 3. Um, so, and these are all my pobs that I have from Fever Part 3. And yep, so then over here I will then go into my Rocky photo card because I did get some. Um, and now let's go here. So I got the rest of Wu's hidden map cards. So yay for me. I got these a while ago. Uh, well, I got these two a while ago, and I just put them in, and then these other ones I got off Mercari. So, I forget the, okay, so those, this, is it this one, and then this one? I don't remember! Or was it this one? I can't remember the outfit, oh no, no, this outfit goes with these two, I think. I think so. We're gonna go with that. I'll change it later if I'm wrong. Bro, I think this video is gonna be like an hour long. to my OT8 set. So I have some set up, but I think I'm gonna need to add a card. So I got, <laughs> I got um, this Bunny OT8 set. And this is from their epilogue era. So I'm gonna put that here first before I get into the fan kit and OT photo book cards. really hard to get cards in these sleeves like they don't budge once they're in but it's kind of hard um okay so then let's do the ode to youth uh, okay so this was the first set i think oh i think i'm gonna have to move so i originally put these in this was from their fan kit I originally put these in here because at the time I did not have this set, um, but I think I'm going to have to move them and I don't want to move them because I didn't attach the IDs in any way. I just like placed them there and like stuck them together as I finagled them in. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to move them now. Well. Okay. 
So this was the set that you had to pop out. And then let me remove this. And then this was the pop set. Okay, so that's the Ode to Youth Pob set. Now we're getting into laundry service from the fan kit. So I'm gonna put these here. I think I want to put this here, just where something in the center. Yay, I think that's cute. And now I'm going to put this on this side and basically I just hold it in and slide it and hope it stays. <laughs> So, um, and these printouts, I did um, an a I saw on Twitter, made these designs for the IDs. Um, I'll link, I'll put the link to the, the designs uh, in the description box if you also want to print out your own. I just thought they were really cute uh, and a good way to help fill out the page. So, yeah, that is, that is everything. That is all 155 cards. So I will end it here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. That is probably an hour long, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.